<laughs> Shall we begin? Welcome to the Happy Monster Cast. I'm your host, Scott Marchand Davis of Happy Monster Press. Let's begin now. This week on the Happy Monster Cast, the rockers of Choco Waffle Narkill try to escape the plane of the Ilku, Sumerian god of the dead. Previously on the Happy Monster Cast, the heavy metal band Choco Waffle Narkill unleashed dark powers through ancient sheet music. Now they have been cast into a purple plane of the damned, and their only hope of escape is a new friend. Alright, well, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and start the recap here. We got stuff to do. All right. All right. So to recap, uh, you are a metal band known as Choco Waffle Narkill. What uh, was it? Choco <laughs> Waffle Narkill. <laughs> Narkill? Yes. Okay. Narkill, like the jackass n- nickname. Yeah. Uh, okay. And you have recently discovered some ancient sheet music, which when you played it, opened up a door, a pathway for ancient evil to enter the world. You found some allies in the form of ancient musical warriors known as the Enkidu warriors. But you're still also trying to make your way big time via the Great American Battle of the Bands. And so you were playing a gig in a local dive when a portal to hell opened up, your instruments animated and tried to kill you. <laughs> and uh, you were eventually sent through the portal into the realm of Ilku. God of the Dead, and where you met a woman with a Trans Am. Uh, the woman said she used to be in a band. Her name was uh, Greta. And she says you have a chance to escape if you call if you take if she uh, takes you to the place where you can do the necessary ritual to escape from hell. However, as you were driving along, she suddenly slams into the brakes. There's a figure you know, just stepped in front of the car. He's tall, he's slim, he's wearing high leather boots, a trench coat, and a cowboy hat, and he's carrying a guitar shaped like a battle axe. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> Retta turns to you and says, That fellas. Is Joe St. Nelly. Legend says, eat him in a guitar duel, he'll give you his axe guitar. Looks like he just challenged you. Who would like to, uh, who would like to duel? Joe St. Nelly. <laughs> what, what would the role be? The role to duel St. Nelly is going to be a performance role. Uh, I am only at a D4 on that, folks. Oh, well, you're the rookie. Yeah, I mean, so. <laughs> although I'm you know, you know, you know <laughs> any redeeming qualities, that ain't one of them. <laughs> hmm. uh, I mean, if oh, no one else is, I'll do it. I'm not I'm a drummer, though, so we'll have to. You know, versus or versus a guitar. Well, the rest of you can provide support roles. Sweet. Nice. <laughs> you say, why don't we? Who, who's our lead guitarist? Who's the shredder? Is it Jungsu? I think Jungsu is the shredder. It means mm. Bob. I think you might have jumped in as the strummer. Yeah. Boom boom. Uh, <laughs> except you're in as the. Sh- I think you're in as the shredder. Oh, okay. So you can log out and log back in. Oh, gotcha, yep. All right, we'll get the shredder out there. Yeah, I imagine that you would. Because we can can always back up the shredder. Uh Exactly. So, uh, and that's what you're going to do. So, I'm just going to go around as you are on the screen right now. Sure. Frankie, how would you like to provide support? Performance to give a beat or a social skill, whatever you want to do there. Yeah, I'm going to start um, to start with a casual uh, drum, like to get them amped up type of like uh, 
thing, like an opening or soft, like something like that. Performance, okay. Ooh, there we go. Okay, good. That's going to be a plus two on the Shredder's performance roll. Nice. That's a good start. All right. The, gro the groom. What are you going to do to support your uh, guitarist? Oh, I'm going to I'm going to lay down. I'm going to lay down a groove. I'm going to start with, a, you know, and get them in, into where they need to be. To start that song. Give me a performance roll. All right, that's going to look for plus three. Beautiful. Nice. All right, the roadie. All right, so uh, I am going to, you know, I, I'm just going to have a, a I, I'm going to stand in the, like, where they can see me just, like, silently, as I always do, and I am just going to do, a like, a double fist bump in time with the beat. Just like, you know, like I'm getting the crowd going, you know. You're hyping. I'm hyping, hey, man. I'm hyping the groove. I'm yeah. hyping the groove. <laughs> so we'll go with that as a performance role since there's no actual crowd to uh, persuade. Oh, hey, no. look at that. There you go. All right, so that, that, that maxes it out. So that's a plus four. So I'm going to, the shredder grabs, grabs her guitar and she is going to rock out. Oh. Wow. Oh, and that wow. she does. With an extremely <laughs> respectable 18. All right, wow, so she starts, she starts just tearing up this thing. And St. Nelly raises his battle axe guitar and starts playing. And it's just, there's, there's no comparison. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, it's really good. There, but the battle goes on. So we're going to start, we're going to reverse the order now. Uh, so uh, the strummer. What are you going to do to support? Uh, so I'm going to take my bass and I'm following the drums, but like I'm just laying down like the thuddiest like backtrack I can and like swaying my hips and with a ton of innuendo and just like boom, <laughs> I'm like, you hey. know, banging my head like pears flying everywhere. Right, hit it. Give me a performance roll. All right. Oh, you're not distracting anyone. So, but it, it doesn't make a difference. That work, that works either way. Sweet. So uh, that's a plus one. Yay! Uh, the roadie. All right. I pull my emergency doobie out of my left pocket. Yes. I pull, I pull my my lighter out of my right pocket, and I keep going. Flick, I flick up a big toasty, mm -hmm. and then wave <laughs> back and forth. Hot lift, you know, one held high in the one hand, the other lighter held high in the other, and I blow a big puff of smoke doing the wave just the way the audience would. Give, give me, give me an athletics roll. Okay. <laughs> that is the skill. For, I'm going to call that the skill for smoke rings. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, well, that's... All right, that is another plus one. The groove. Fatty plus one. <laughs> <laughs> Modulate and kick up the speed. <laughs> All right, give me a performance roll. Plus three. You're and going the, in nine eight, aren't you? And the beat. All right, um, everyone's getting it rolling, so I'll uh, keep up. I'll just pick it up a notch. <laughs> <sighs> Oh. I'm just uh, you're, you're a little you're a little off you're a little off that's okay plus three is still very respectable so uh with the plus three the shredder roll rocks on not as good but still very respectable this round <laughs> let's see how saint nelly does as he's facing off with your entire band here uh respectable but He's still got a long way to go. You guys are really rocking it. All right. This will be, this is the grand finale. Uh, the beat. 
I'm going to uh, just kick things up a notch and get it as hype as I can get these drums. <laughs> All right. Give me a, give me a performance. <laughs> okay. Plus one. That's true. I'm going to start. <laughs> with with my pinky on the on the high strings, I'm going to start <laughs> echoing what the uh, shredder is doing. <laughs> All right, harmonies. <laughs> All right, plus two. The ready. All right, I'm going to do something that I never get a chance to do during an actual show because I'm always working the board. I'm going to do a mosh pit. I'm going to do one, <laughs> I'm going to do a one man mosh pit. Roll myself up in the air and then come down in a, you know, in like a, a smash roll, right? Uh, you know, kind of a, a across the stage in support of my man. You mean athletics roll? That is definitely athletics. Plus three. And last but not least, the strummer. All right. Uh, so I'm going to continue with all of that, but then I'm going to like put my right foot on that pedal. And there's going to be some distortion that's like very dazed and confused and lemon songy and bizarre and psychedelic. <laughs> Give me a performance roll. Plus four. Nice. All right. Here comes the roll from the Shredder. All right. Not, not quite as spectacular as the intro, but Satan he's got his work cut out for him. <laughs> Uh, and he he wraps up his licks, <laughs> and then he just looks at you for a minute, and he walks over to the shredder and hands her his guitar and walks away. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Going back to Georgia, my friend. <laughs> Apparently, yes. So. <laughs> The Shredder is now the proud owner of Horny the Axe Guitar. Horny. <laughs> Sounds about right. A two handed strengthless E10 weapon. Cool. Wow. Nice. Who needs a Gibson double neck when you got that? Uh, also, <laughs> it also doubles as a. It also has a 100 foot Bluetooth connection for wireless uh, rocking out. Oh, oh. Right. state of the art. <laughs> All right. So you peel out in the Trans Am again, and after a, about 15 more minutes of driving, it pulls up in front of a dilapidated brick building with a neon marquee staring power records. Uh, you hear the faint sounds of Motown from the inside of the store. And as you climb out of the vehicle, Greta says, Oh, you may need these. She pops the trunk. And inside the trunk is every sort of medieval weapon you could possibly imagine. Rockin'. <laughs> uh, the beat. Well, is there, would you like to pick up any sort of medieval weaponry? Uh, hmm. Trying to think of what I would use being a drummer. Can I, um, can I put, like, is there any, like, Silver metal, like uh, arrow shapes. Maybe I could make something with my drums, <laughs> combine them, make them my drumsticks, make them actual weapons. Hmm. No, they're, they're pretty much like standard weapons that you would find in a, in a but okay. uh, you could certainly could pick up a couple of clubs, which would which would fit with whacking with your unarmed skills. Of course, you're pretty formidable unarmed as well. It's not hmm. only. Swords and axes and things, though. There are also bows, crossbows, throwing spears. Yeah. And... Okay, let me look at my character sheet real quick and see if I'm actually good with any of that stuff. Uh... You're decent with thrown weapons, and you're very good with fighting, although you, as a martial artist, you're pretty, pretty good on arm. So something okay. like a throwing axe or a, a knife or a spear would probably be a good choice. Okay. Yeah, let's do um, let's do throwing axes. That sounds good. Okay, you grab a pair of throwing axes. Sweet. <laughs> All right, the groove. 
Uh, does shooting carry over to bows? It does. Do we only have to pick one? Take whatever you want. They got a trunk. This is the uh, figure on the inside trunk as well, just like the car was figure on the inside. I'm going to select a pair of small crossbows and an axe. All right. Let's see. Your strength is D10, which I believe means you're capable of wielding a great axe. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to equip you up with all of those. So you are all set there. The roadie. Okay, with a strength of eight, can I wield a, a great sword? No, you can't have her wield a long sword. All right, I will. I will take a long sword and or a halberd. Actually, a halberd might be nice. I was thinking of a halberd. However, it's a halberd. Uh, yeah, halberd is two-handed weapon though, so that's not going to work for you. Okay, then, um, then I will take the. I'll take a long sword. Can I also? Yeah, you can do a long sword, a battle axe, I believe a flail. Yeah. A katana. How about a morning star? Absolutely. All right. Cool. And call it Lucifer. <laughs> All right, you are, you are start up in, in the form of a mace. All right, Mr. Shredder is already equipped with horny, and that's uh, but just in the interest of uh, can't not really good at shooting or uh, athletics particularly. So, just gonna grab a heavy crossbow to get one good hit in before uh, going in hand to hand. And the strummer. Can I use a spear like a quarter staff and whack people as well as poke people? Absolutely. Okay, so I will take a spear in that case and heavy crossbow because I don't see doing a lot of range stuff. But if I'm going to do it, I want it to really hurt. You do have, a, you do also have a forty-five, but yeah, you know, nothing. Okay, in that case, can I take a short sword instead? Absolutely, or both. Okay, yeah, spear, uh, short sword, yeah. Yeah, spear, short sword, crossbow. Done, done, and done. Because yeah. you never know, you might need to kill a vampire or something. Yeah, exactly, different <laughs> ammo types. Not I, a bad thing. I got a question about my gear. It looks like uh, the only one that I see so far is a mace. Uh, let's see. What are you doing? Let's throw you into tower records here. <sighs> I was there when it existed 3,000 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> the chaos of vinyls and audio cassettes. Yeah, all you took was the mace and the pump action shotgun. Okay. I mean, the shotgun you already had. Yeah. The mace was the other thing you took. Okay. Yeah, I, I thought was that, that, I, 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 that I was going to get the, um, the longsword as well. Oh, yeah, absolutely. One second. <laughs> Mace and longsword. Done and done. All right. So as you uh, head towards the door, Grace leans out of the window. The disc you see is an acetate record of Under the Sun by Black Sabbath. It's a collector's item. Play it backward to summon the sun and sever Ilku's hold on you. That will set you free. It's a back mask. Hmm. So you go into uh, Tower Records, and there's a tall black guy. Looks like he's maybe in his early 40s, standing behind the counter. Uh, it's got his hair is just beginning to gray. He's wearing a motorhead T-shirt. Howdy, I'm good there. Hey. Mm -hmm. How's it hanging? <laughs> oh, you know, long and to the right, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I do. <laughs> so, Gunther, we are looking for a song to bring the sun back. That sounds cool, man. What you looking for? 
Wait. He turns to the, uh, the, the, you hear a scratching sound as a record comes to an end, and he turns to the record player behind the counter and flips it over to uh, continue playing the OJs. Mm. <laughs> That'll be a one of a kind song, something uh, epic. <laughs> something by the Beatles, oh, maybe? Yeah. Like, Here Comes the Sun? Not technically the song that she told you to look for. Black but, Sabbath, uh, right? Yeah, Black Sabbath yeah. Under the Sun. Right. So, in that case, mm. um, I'm going to say it, it, it's a classic. It's by those guys, Black Sabbath, you know, Ozzy and Geezer. And Tony and oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Under the sun, yeah. you know, man, like it's amazing. <laughs> Metal's over in the corner, man, and he points over to this corner right here. Love geezer. <laughs> All right, All so right. Uh, you, you guys gonna start looking around? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you guys start going over here and checking him out. I have their debut on vinyl. It's really fun. <laughs> nice. And just as you do, a massive, the doors crash open, and a massive demon with enormous horns squeezes through the doorway. Uh, he's wearing a metal loincloth and a chain wrapped around his chest. Uh, his right arm and left leg appear to be some sort of magical cybernetic uh, replacements. And he's holding a colossal battle axe guitar. Hey, I'm Cliff. Let's play! He swings his axe guitar around, slams it into the wall, and the whole, the building shakes, and the walls start to crumble. And uh, you, you get the sense the entire building is going to collapse if this guy keeps it up. Oh. And that put us into combat. Oh, wow. <laughs> so here's how this is going to work. You need to find the record. Mm. And in order to find the record, you need to make, you need to get 10 dramatic task successes. So you're going to use a skill check or turn to do a dramatic task uh, to use a skill to try to find the record. You need 10 of them. 10? Ooh. Mm. Yes. In three rounds. Three. Oh, dear. Half of those 10 have to be from research. Uh, meanwhile, Cliff is going to try to kill you. So <laughs> you, really, you need to decide who's going to be digging through the records here and what skills you can use in addition to research to do that. Uh, I'll accept any justifiable skill you can make a case for. And uh, some of you might need to be going and dealing with Cliff. Question. Does the name Cliff come from the influence of Cliff Burton of Metallica? That is entirely possible. Okay. <laughs> okay. Because I was like, wait a minute, Metallica, right? Cliff Burton, right? <laughs> uh, I I will ask the creator for you. Okay. I'm really curious. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I will say that as the beat when I played this myself, mm -hmm. I mercilessly taunted Cliff about his name. <laughs> it is entire. <laughs> 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 All right. Mm -hmm. So let the battle begin. <laughs> All right. The Shredder is up first. The Shredder being sort of the paladin person in the group. Uh, and not necessarily the brains of the operation, is first going to try not to freak out because this is very scary. So I need everybody to make a spirit roll at minus two. Benny. Oh, Benny. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste of any. Okay, so we're gonna get a fear roll for this for the uh the shredder here. The strummer is good. Uh the beat, yeah, you're not so good. Um I'm gonna Benny and try that again. Oh, Ooh, nice. Wow. Exploded too. Well done. There we go. Very nice. Thanks. Thanks. 
Oh, another explosion. Third one's a charm. Cool. <laughs> Let's see what happens to the uh, your four your four drummer here. Okay, your shredder picks up a phobia. Uh, I'm gonna say a phobia of axe hitting guitars. Phobia of what? Axe guitars. Oh, Despite the fact that your your the shredder is currently wielding an axe guitar, but they're suddenly afraid of. Oh, no. Nevertheless, <laughs> one, two, three. I'm so six. conflicted. <laughs> uh, it's going to run over. Very effectively run over. And attempt to wild attack uh, with the, with Horny, the axe guitar, the demon to try to keep off the rest of you. <laughs> okay, wild attack. Minus one because we are afraid of the weapon. Hey, Jung Su's here. But hey, yeah, 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 quite here. Yeah. And manages to hit. That is some respectable damage with the the mighty weapon there, but it is insufficient. Uh, Cliff is unfazed, and that <laughs> unfortunately the shredder is now vulnerable. Oh wait, I forgot that the shredder is a champion. That does give a damage bonus on supernatural evil, which it certainly is. So with the damage bonus, that's enough to shake Cliff. Who, of course, now it's his turn and is going to be able to crash. Which he does handily. And uh, then he is going to play an awesome rift. So I would like you to make a uh, spirit test to see if you are able to resist uh, the, the intimidation of Cliff's awesome riff. Okay. Let's see. You are. Nice. I'm good. Nice. Uh, you you, you, you laugh. My spirit is good. You laugh at his at his uh, pathetic. <laughs> you now have a phobia of axe guitars. That's the bad news. The good news Sorry, is you have a report. phobia of what? Of axe guitars, which is ironic because you're currently wielding an axe guitar. Yeah. Which, you, which you acquired in a, which you acquired in a guitar tool. All right, the uh. stormer. I should note you're the only one with research. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to do that to in hopes that we can, yeah, find what we need. You may, other people may want to support him. We'll have to see. Okay, so that's one success on research. You need four more of those and five more successes on other things. How do we support him? Uh, you would make support roles for him, although I, uh, you as the champion have charged him to keep Cliff from attacking oh, right, everybody right. else. Okay, let's go get him. All right, the roadie. Okay, so using my language, my my language skills, because although I am a roadie, I used to be an English major um, back at Brown <laughs> um, before I got into drugs. Uh, I'm going to look at the signage in the thing. I'm going to analyze the signage over all these record cards, and I'm going to determine best location to search. All right, give me the language. Oi. Uh, Would you like to that? Am, You've got a ton of I am absolutely going to be that. That's better. All right, that is worth a non research success. So that's two out of eight so far. The beast. Nice. All right, I'm going to uh, use my uh, speed to my advantage and just kind of flip through these records with the name of the record in mind, trying to find it. So you're basically using athletics to like speed flip through all the records? Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. I'll allow it. Give me an athletics roll. Okay. Oh, there you go. You are flipping through them with great pace. That's two <laughs> more successes on non research. Oh, nice. nice. And the groove. <laughs> That's you, Frank. No, I know. And <laughs> our, our poor Shredder is the only one that stepped up to whack a demon, right? Right. <laughs> On the other hand, you still need six successes in the next two rounds to uh, find this record. <laughs> I don't know. Shredder, you good? I think I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she's fine. I'm giving you a Benny just for that. She's that fine. Time. <laughs> Wait. So we are in a magical realm of rock and roll, yes? Yeah. Yes. And I've got my super sweet guitar, yes? Yes. <laughs> oh, no. And we're in the heavy metal section, yes? Yes. Uh -oh. I'm going to use my performance. And I'm going to peel off a sick uh, riff based on the chorus of the song we're looking for to see if the affinity from the song will pull that record. I love it. Oh, give me a performance roll. <laughs> I'm going to give you a Benny. Nice. Hardcore. <laughs> oh! oh yeah. it's exploding. <laughs> All right, so that's all the that's all the non research successes you guys need. So you need you probably want to focus on support roles for the strummer. So use other skills to support these research roles. Because you need four more successes on those. Round two, the strummer is up first. That totally blows the whole the whole support thing. Unless you want to hold action and wait for other people to support you. Uh, yeah. Why don't I hold and can I go after? Yeah, can I just go last after the beat? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. All right, they're ready. Okay, so how would you like to support your uh, strummer? Oh, okay, so he is he. Uh, so we still need research successes, right? Yes. So you could roll unskilled, or you can roll other skills to support uh, the strummer, explaining how you're using your other skills to support him. Um. Okay. So what I am going to do is I am going to use my repair skills. So the strummer is currently using an axe guitar, which uh, that's the strummer. Which, sorry, the strummer is using the axe guitar. The strummer is your bassist. Oh, the strummer is using the bassist. Okay, all right. Well, well, let me let me re rethink that for a second. That's right. I was going to cure a phobia by uh, fixing the appearance of the guitar. Um, uh, which I would still, that's still awesome, although you'd have to go over there to do that. You know, I <laughs> I will go over there and do that, and using the uh, the sort of emergency repair kit, which I have on my utility belt, because, hey, I'm a roadie, right? I'm going to quick paint, you know, some intimidating flames and stuff on, uh, on the Shredder's guitar in hopes of enhancing the intimidation factor and the wow factor of the performance. Okay, you never know. Hmm. All right. Uh, you have removed the phobia from this particular axe guitar. Mm -hmm. However, the axe guitar the other guy is wielding is still scary. So <laughs> the net effect is nil. Okay. Well, next Ooh. time I'll fix the other guy's guitar too. All right. Cliff <laughs> is going to try to whack the shredder with his axe guitar. And surprisingly, it's going to fail. So instead, nice. he whacks the wall, crashing, causing the walls to shake and, and shudder again. All right, the crew. How would you like to support your research friend and go fight? Um. How, how many research uh, wins do we still need? Four. Four. Okay. Um, performance is certainly a possibility because familiarity with music, uh, notice is a possibility, knowledge perhaps. I've seen a creative use of cult. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna keep up with the with the performance I was doing. 
Okay. That's kind of a, you know, I'm amping, I'm, I'm amping him up. I'm getting him motivated. All right, hit it. All right, that will be a plus one on the uh, research roll. We All right, the Shredder. Would you care to retaliate against this uh, horrible axe demon who's going to kill you? Yeah. Um, how exactly am I doing that? Like, uh, well, you could uh, you, you could hit him with horny the guitar, yes. <laughs> okay. That's a terrible name. <laughs> right. So that uh, will not hit him. Ooh, Benny. Use your one Benny. Here goes. Mm. That will also not hit him, as it is the exact same <laughs> one. <laughs> but you're keeping him tied up. Okay, the beat. How are you going to help go. out? <laughs> All right, I see that. I'm a bit of a rabble rouser. And um, my, one of my higher skills is intimidation. So yes. I'm going to yell in, uh, in Bob's character's ear. Not yell, but like kind of get him going emotionally. You're like, come on, strings. We got to find it. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you find this thing or I'm going to kick you your ass. Stay in hell. Yeah. You got to go. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I've got my right. fingerless gloves and I'm like, you know, thumbing through and like filing through. Oh, that's bad. Would you like to get any All right. Plus, that, that will be a plus two then on your research roll. Nice. Okay. Let's see what happens. Big money. Oh, Big money. man. Okay. Come on. All right. Let's see. Let's see. I hope it's here. Come on. <laughs> That's one success. Would you like to Benny it? I would like to Benny it in hopes that I can amp some goodies up. What's your research stat? Uh, D6. Uh, your research is a D8. Oh, there we go. Explosion. Woo! Good times. <laughs> With the plus two, that is your remaining successes. Woo! Nice. That's all of so, them? Yes. Damn. Uh, inspired by the intimidation and guitar playing of your helpers. Uh, <laughs> you, fuck, fuck. <laughs> you you <laughs> find the acetate out of the cell. And nice. you run over to the record player, flip off the OJs, and snap this on here and playing it backwards. <laughs> and the second the needle touches down on the disc, the disc starts to glow. And as the record turns, playing backwards, it flows stronger and stronger, and the song's tempo goes faster and faster until the entirety, you can't see anything but a wash of brilliant light. And then the light, fa then the light fades, and you're standing outside, outside the dive bar. Same. And that is the adventure. Oh my god. Awesome. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Awesome. Where's the beer? <laughs> GG easy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. You can follow Happy Monster Press on Facebook as Happy Monster Press, at our website, happymonsterpress.com, Twitter as Happy Monster PRS, or follow the podcast on YouTube, Stitcher Radio, Spotify, iTunes or Google Play Music. The Happy Monster Cast is part of the Savage Worlds Media Network. This game references the Savage Worlds game system available from Pinnacle Entertainment Group at www.peginc.com. It is unofficial media content permitted under the Media Network Content Agreement. This content is not managed, approved, or endorsed by Pinnacle Entertainment Group. Certain portions of the materials used are the intellectual property of Pinnacle and all rights are reserved. Savage Worlds, all related settings and unique characters, locations, and characters, logos, and trademarks are copyrights of Pinnacle Entertainment Group. Boomstick is the intellectual property of Just Insert Imagination. All other content is the intellectual property of Happy Monster Press. Music, Ice Cold by Jason Shaw. Oh, for sure. <laughs>